Welcome to third part of gate solve problems. First problem is based on two's complement representation and this problem appeared in 2002 exam. I will read the problem then we will solve it. 4 bit two's complement representation, 4 bit two's complement representation of a decimal number of a decimal number is 1000. Zero, zero, zero. This is the two's complement representation of a decimal number and in this problem we have to find the decimal number. We have to find the decimal number. So let's see how we can solve it. 4 bit two's complement representation is 1000. Zero, zero, zero. This is the two's complement representation of a decimal number and we can see MSB is equal to 1 MSB is equal to 1 and in case of two's complement representation if MSB the most significant bit is equal to 1 this implies the number the number is negative and if MSB if MSB is equal to 0 this implies the number is positive for example for example, plus 3 is represented as 0, 1, 1. This is the representation of plus 3. And if you want to find out minus 3, minus 3, then the first thing we have to do is to take the 1's complement of plus 3. 1's complement is 1, 0, 0. We just complemented all the bits. And then we will add 1. So we have 1, 0, 1. This is this is minus 3 in 2's complement and you can see MSB is equal to 1 MSB is equal to 1 and for positive number MSB is equal to 0 this is very important point and uh, by using this we can say that the decimal number is a negative number because this is the representation of a negative number and uh, option A and option B are incorrect because they are not negative and in order to find out the magnitude now we know the decimal number we know the decimal number is negative but we want to find out the magnitude we want to find out the magnitude and in order to find out the magnitude we will find the two's complement of this binary number because if there is a number if there is a number a and we take two's complement of this number then we have minus a and if we again take the two's complement we will have a so we were having a taking its two's complement we have minus a and if we again take its two's complement we have a again so to find out the magnitude we will take the two's complement of this representation so i will first find out the one's complement and one's complement is zero one 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 this is the one's complement then i will add one to find out two's complement and this will give me zero 1 0 1 0 1 and finally I have 1 0 0 0 so this is the magnitude and it is equal to 8 so the number is negative of 8 the number is minus 8 so option D is correct and option C is incorrect so this is how you have to solve this problem now we will move to problem number 2 in second problem the range of signed decimal numbers can be represented by 6 bit once complement form is this is very easy formula based problem we already know range range in case of signed magnitude in case of signed magnitude is minus 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus 1 2 plus 2 raised to power n minus 1 minus 1 this is the range in case of sign magnitude representation and we have 6 bits so n is equal to n is equal to 6 and we have minus 2 raised to power 5 6 minus 1 is 5 minus 1 2 plus 2 raised to power 5 minus 1 2 raised to power 5 is 32 so we have minus 32 minus 1 2 plus 32 minus 1 and this will give us minus 31 to plus 31 so out of four options a is the correct option so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one